Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 400. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 398 to 405. Hey, in this trick, we have we want, this is our goal here, to have, we have some lists here, customers, cities, names, and we want to just be able to select from a drop down and have the list appear below it. So if I pick cities, I see the list of cities. If I pick customers, I see all the customers. All right, uh, the first trick we're going to have to, here's a column, column, column of data. Those are the lists. The name is at the top, name at the top, name at the top. So to do data validation in this cell, we need to either see names, cities, or customers in a drop down. So I have those names right there. I'm going to click in this cell, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt-D-L. By the way, the Alt keys work as you hit Alt, and then you hit D, and then you hit L. Settings, any value, we don't want any value, we want to limit it to a list. And then I'm going to click in the source and highlight those names. Click OK, and so now we have our drop down. But how in the world are we going to get that list to show up? Well, the next thing is we want to name, because we have our uh, a drop down here. So we'd like to name this range names, this range cities, this race name, this range customers. Now I've done this trick I'm going to do here before, but I'm going to show you a really cool uh, twist on this. Uh, if I highlight a range in Control Shift F3, it will give whatever I have highlighted the name in the very top cell. Okay, we're going to do that in just a second. I'm going to hit Escape, but first. I, I don't want to have to do it three times. I don't want to have to highlight this column, do it, highlight this column, do it, highlight this column, and then do it. So I'm going to click on the top cell, and I'm going to Control Shift Down Arrow to highlight, you know, down 150 rows or something. And now watch this. That's highlighted. Now I hold the Control key. Control says I can highlight non-contiguous ranges. That means this range. There's some stuff between it, but then I want to highlight that. Now watch this. This is weird. I've I did control to get another range not next to it highlighted, but now I can hold control shift and down arrow, and it will do just that little part and keep this other one selected. Now I'm going to do it again. I'm holding control to highlight there. Now I'm going to hold control shift down arrow to highlight that. That is so cool. And when you have a bunch of ranges and you need to highlight them all, that is a big time saver. Now watch this. The keyboard shortcut name range from selection works on non-contiguous ranges. So I control shift F3. It says top row only and then boom, I click OK. So right now, now I have cities customers and uh, our names. Now the next uh, thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to have, because this range is very short, these other ones are very long, we're going to need a formula that will do a couple things. One is it'll take this text and convert it to a range. We'll use the indirect for that. Uh, and then we're going to need to turn on and off so when I get past like row 6, uh, I'm going to need to turn off the formula so that there's blanks below and it only shows the names. All right, you ready? We're going to use the if function. Now, the on off switch for us is going to be the rows. Rows. That says how many rows we uh, are there. Well, we're going to say a dollar sign locked in front of the three, which means row reference locked colon a three. All that does is that gives me a uh, expandable range. Right now, how many rows are there? Three to three. One. This is locked, this is not. When we go down, uh, this will turn to a 4, so it'll be 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. And we're going to say, are the rows greater than, I'm sorry, less than or equal to? Well, now we're, we need to do something. We need to actually um, figure out how many items there are in each list. So we'll use the count a uh, function because count a uh, can count non-empty cells. In our case, it'll be uh, text. We can't use count because count counts numbers. But how are we going to get this volatile, uh, since we have different ranges, how are we going to get a count? Well, this is where we have to use this cell up here because this has the name of that range right there. We got to use the indirect function because the indirect will take the text in this cell and tell Excel, forget it. Don't think that's a word. Please consider it the named range. 
Actually, we don't want that um, parentheses. We want a backspace because we need to lock that cell reference as we go down. So I'm going to hit the F4 key twice to lock the row reference. So now we have our indirect inside the counter. So we close parentheses. And boom, there's our logical test for when uh, when rows, for in, in the city's case, when it gets above 6, then everything will be blank. Our false will be a blank. But comma, what if it's 1 to 6? That's true. What do we want in the cell? Oh, indirect. The same thing we just did, but this will deliver the actual uh, value to the cell. Now I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock the row reference, close parentheses. Now there's an interesting aspect of names. Since we're right next to, and this is a requirement for this trick, the, the range of values are right next to the range where we're dumping this name right here. If you dump it, it's not going to dump city 1 all the way to 6 in the cell. It'll just take the first one. So we can uh, leave that there. Comma, the false is going to be double quote, close parentheses, and then control enter. So now I can copy this all the way down. Long ways down here. There's actually lots of ways to copy that down. Control home to jump back up. And sure enough, we have our city 1 to 6. Now if I change the range here, names. Now change the uh, to customers, and it has the customers. Now let me uh, show you what I mean about that. Uh, the named ranges. If I click in this cell right here and type equals city and double click, notice it's looking at that whole range. But if I control enter, it shows me just that one. Now, does that work everywhere? What if I do uh, right here equals cities and control enter? No, it doesn't. So this is a, a kind of bizarre use of names. If you put the name exactly uh, in the same row as the actual name range and copy it down, it does that. So this trick only works if you have these names you know, off to the side in the same uh, uh, row. All right, we'll see you next trick.